Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Buffett Backstories. I'm Scott Atwell. The corner of Alberta and Waddell, Jimmy Buffett knows every crack on these dirty sidewalks. He spent a lot of time in this neighborhood. That building behind me today is the front desk for the Coconut Beach Resort timeshare. But back in the day, it was home to a couple of apartments and Jimmy Buffett called it home. But right around the corner was perhaps his most famous address, 704 Waddell, a little before and a little after. How many times do you think Jimmy Buffett stumbled up and down these stairs? His friend Chris Robinson, a bartender at the chart room, lived downstairs with his wife Sonia, who was mentioned in the song Nautical Wheelers. Chris Robinson still lives down here in the Keys. He's a flats fisherman, a guide. Now Jimmy lived upstairs and where that window is today was a door that led to stairs where Jimmy accessed his second floor apartment. And after you climb the stairs, this is what it looks like inside. The Coconut Beach Resort has taken Jimmy Buffett's living space and divided it up into four different timeshares, but you get the idea. You walk through the door out onto the deck, you can see the beach and the water. That's right where Jimmy Buffett wrote the song, Trying to Reason with the Hurricane Season. And then later in the 70s and the early 80s, when Jimmy was spending more time in Colorado and St. Barts, he let the gonzo journalist Hunter S. Thompson live in this space. This is a guy who tripped on LSD and wrote about it. Oh, the stories that took place here with Hunter S. Thompson. I used to have a friend who had a saying, if the walls could talk, I'm going to have to burn the sofa. They may have had to do that after Hunter S. Thompson got finished with it. Well, that's this week's edition of Buffett Backstories. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and Louie's backyard is next door. I'll see you next time. Fins up, everybody.